Thanks everybody for being here this morning. Just like to take a couple minutes and talk about the uh, the case of Marcos Kaufman. Um, as you know, the shooting, uh, breaking and entering, and shooting that happened last Monday morning in the western part of uh, Rowan County. We are uh, glad to announce that uh, Friday night, with the assistance of the Statesville Police Department, two of the suspects in this case um, were taken into custody. Uh, Mr. Turner, uh, he was charged with the, uh, as you know, the uh, attempted murder, felony breaking and entering, larceny, and felony larceny of a firearm. His bond was set at $3 million. Mr. Uh, Teasley was also taken into custody and charged with accessory after the fact. His bond was a half a million dollars. And as you know, we continued to look for uh, Mr. McClellan and Mr. Hart. Mr. McClellan, of course, will be charged with the same things that uh, Mr. Turner's been charged with. And likewise, Mr. Teasley will be charged as, um, I mean, Mr. Teasley will, uh, the same charges that apply to Mr. Teasley will apply to Mr. Hart. At this time, I'd like to uh, really say thank you to the community. This case, when I got on the scene Monday, it was just like, oh my gosh, what happened? How could it happen to good people? And where are we gonna go and how are we gonna make this case? We made a plea with the uh, public Monday to, to call in with any information. And it's really neat to see when you get eight or 10, 12 different phone calls or bits of information that help build a story and make this case. And we also couldn't do that without our fellow partners in law enforcement. We'd like to really thank uh, Statesville Police Department, Iredell County Sheriff's Office, Alexander County Sheriff's Office, and the Hickory Police Department for their parts in this case and their continued help as we look for these two other subjects that are large. We still have stolen property recover. We have recovered the computer of the victim, as you know. So there's still a lot of work to be done on this case, and obviously we still need to make two arrests, and we really need Mr. McClellan to step up and do the right thing, either turn himself in, get him a lawyer, turn himself in, but we really need him to do the right thing.